the 20th year anniversary of late Honorable Odwai Olagbaju, aka Misty, held at the Oba Okwade Sijuade Hall in Eleife. The guest speaker at the occasion, Professor Oluye Misi Obilade, in a lecture called on the leaders in Nigeria to uplift the living standard of their citizens. So, what do you say to them? And so if, if it takes a change in a political ideology to address it, we must be brave enough to say, let's go by posing the question to us all. Can democratic plurality offer a meeting point between the structural ideals of civil society and public structure and what we are referring to as the extra legal minimal institutional forms of democracy represented by concepts such as civil society. Some speakers at the memorable event acknowledged the fact that the late icon, Honorable Odwai Olagbaju, lived a fulfilled life. Today, about Mr. Olagbaju, Omogolani is not for people like him or myself, here yeah, as much, but for you people to learn. Pitch off and then come to Ife, because I learned he was from Ife and he was based in Ife. Mawaki won, that is the kind of world. I was a little joined. Somebody that came and rescued somebody, no, possibly. It is highly significant because uh, it will enable the entire community to bring back into memory the past activities of the Tomorrowku Oduayo Olagbaju. To take into consideration the legacies left behind by Olagbaju. If we should not allow it to die, and uh, it will encourage the youth that are coming to teach them that it is what they can do for the society and country at large that matters. You don't need to be multimillionaire or billionaire before you achieve. And then another lesson is. Quiz and essay competition, which was organized in memory of the late Honorable, was won by St. Molumba School. <laughs> Honorable Odwayo Omobolanle Olagbaju, Misty, was the chairman committee of the House on Agriculture in Oshun State House of Assembly. He proved his merit by being a profoundly formidable legislator. This capability made him the strong pillar of the State House of Assembly. Abdul Fatai Owolabi, NTA News.